That means a lot because, like you said, um, we're probably like, besides Cathedral Prep, the only other District 10 team in it. So, um, in order to be in it, it's a special feeling for us in this school. Um, uh, just by hard work and everything, you know, all of us were in the gym countless hours and everything. So just getting in the gym and uh, working on our skills and everything. Um, it's it's gonna be good because we play tough schedules. So uh, adding them, they're also good teams and everything. So I think it will just prepare us for the playoffs and uh, if we can make it to the states. I mean, it was a dream come true. You know, that's what you work up for growing up and everything. But um, not gonna lie, the process it can get annoying at some times. But uh, like I said, it was a dream come true. So I loved every bit of it. Um, that's where I felt most comfortable, and I uh, had like a really, really good relationship with Coach Dan Brought, and um, I knew some of the players on the team, and they just made me feel really comfortable on my visits and everything. Um, um, I'm so excited. It's a great tournament, and I can't wait to play because we have some talent in the team, like playing with my teammates, and I can't wait to play the tournament. I'm going there to play and win everything. That's, that's how it goes. And by playing hard, win this tournament, we're gonna look good. We're gonna be there. We're gonna. We might be the top team in the national uh, in the states and nation too. That's why we're so excited. Work hard for that tournament. Let's play together. Like um, motivate each other, push each other, and play as a team. Like being good teammates. Like that. That make us like learning how to play good and then be a good team. Um, Candy Catholic, first of all, I came for school, like I came for school then. But I went to school back in Virginia. The, I was playing great basketball, but the problem I was not doing good in school. And that's why I chose to come to Kennedy Catholic for school. They can help me with school, like the teacher helping you and everything. Then I can get opportunity to play basketball too. Um, West Virginia, first of all, I like the coaches. I like the way they play and I feel myself like if I go to West Virginia, I'll play. And um, he was one of my favorite school too. That's why I end up with West Virginia. Uh, as soon as uh, Mr. Flanagan asked me about it, this was last year when he was in the, we jumped on it right away. There was no questions. I, I called my athletic director. After we left, we were scrimmaging actually uh, uh, Cathedral Prep last year. And, and uh, when he called, I, I called our athletic director like we, when we got on the bus and told him we're going to there. Uh, playing the uh, Burger King Classic. <laughs> the, the only, if, if there's one thing, but you know what, anytime you play Coach Mark's team and, and uh, Cathedral Prep, you're, you're getting better. So, you know, uh, I wouldn't even have a problem scrimmaging them because, I mean, I, I know it's in our league and everything, but our, both of our ultimate goals are to play in the March and, and uh, when you play against his teams, you're going to get better. You're going to have to work. And you know, if you come out there, you're going to come out a better team whether you want to lose. But, and if you are fortunate to beat them, you know you did something good. Uh, on, on paper, uh, I'm, I'm not going to, you know, deny it. I mean, we're very talented. I mean, we, we got a lot of size. Uh, you know, we're fighting the injury bug right now, but, uh, you know, hopefully come time in season and stuff like that, we'll be 100%. And, uh, but, I mean, we're, we're, we're very fortunate. I mean, we have uh, the two guys that uh, are up here with me right now are two of the best players, not only in the, the state but in the country. I mean, Oscar is, uh, I think, in one ranking, had him in the top 15 of the country. And then, uh, the one rank I saw in ACL was in the top 150. Uh, they both had major offers uh, from very, very the, be the biggest schools in the country, and and uh, so I'm, I, I, I guess I can't deny that they're they're good players. Uh, also, we have three other guys who have Division One offers. Uh, you know that are uh, one committed to Toledo, and uh, and then. Uh, we also have some other players that are, are pretty good that might not be Division One, but you know I, I tell everyone I go if you have five Division Three basketball players you're a great team, and and we have a couple uh, other kids that are looking at Division Two and Division Threes. We're, we're very appreciative. Uh, you know we're hoping that we could come up here and we're hoping that we can uh, represent District Ten. You know on it. Uh, uh, you know I I'm, uh, I speak highly of District Ten throughout the state and and uh, you know and hopefully. Uh, 
us and, and along with Cathedral Prep and there's other good teams. Uh, we know our league, Erie McDowell uh, and Erie High School and Meadville, uh, you know, Meadville was just in the state finals a couple a couple years ago. Uh, you know, McDowell is very good. So District 10, uh, it, hopefully this tournament is going to help bring a lot of attention throughout the state, if not the country, uh, with this. But, uh, you know, we, I, I, I feel very comfortable saying that this tournament's second to none.